remember the story of our friends Wags and Ben? Well, about 32 tennis balls, 5 collars, and 1 high school graduation later, Ben was off to college at SUNY Potsdam. Wags had gotten used to Ben going to school each day, but was sad to see a fully packed car around the time when Ben was usually going back to that building full of fun at the end of each summer. To see where Ben was headed with all of his things, Wags hopped in the trunk and watched hills, trees, and rivers go by for a long time. When the car finally stopped, Wags scurried behind Ben to a new room and hid under the bed as he watched Ben say a long goodbye to his parents. This is a strange place, Wags thought. I wonder what happens here. The next day, when Ben left the room, Wags followed to see what was there to explore and to see where Ben was headed. Wags came to a door with funny noises coming from behind it. Inside was a tuba, a bassoon, and a piano. The girl playing bassoon giggled when she saw Wags so curious about her instrument. But Wags' favorite was the piano. He listened to the boy play for a while and rested to its glistening sound. had wandered into a room full of paints, not unlike the one he found that day as a puppy. He found a girl painting and wanted to try too. <laughs> she showed him how to make his own painting, and he was so proud of his work. Next, Wags found his way into a big room with a dancing girl. He watched her grace and body move to the music. Wags wanted to try too. Wags jumped and stretched his paws in sync with the dancer and played until she had to go. sent Wags to a new friend who had Wags's favorite toy, a ball. He played catch with his new friend until he brought Wags to a colorful room with lots of chairs. And there was Ben. Wags, what are you doing here? What have you been doing all day, asked Ben. He thought of all the fun he had at Ben's new school. And although he would miss Ben very much, Wags knew of all the fun in store for him. <laughs> 